Russians are going to the ISU Congress in Fukud this is a good sign, but it will not be easy there. Very soon the main event of the year will take place in figure skating. You will be surprised, but this is not the Olympics and not the World Cup. Strategically, the results of the Congress of the International Skating Union ISU, are much more important, where the future of figure skaters for the next four years will be decided. There are more important issues than ever, the re-election of key leaders of the organization, the issue of the age qualification of singles, and the status of Russian athletes. There is a good sign, with a high probability, delegates from Russia will take part in the Congress, at least the leadership of the Russian Figure Skating Federation has gone to Fukit. And this means that at least we will be able to declare our position personally. ISU is an extremely unwieldy organization. As more than one crisis story has already shown, in difficult moments, officials from the International Skating Union harness for a very long time and right even longer. So, they tried to deny the existence of coronavirus both the first strain and Omicron until the very last, they did not beat the fever with doping stories at the Olympics, they did not go to the forefront among those who wanted to exclude Russia from all international tournaments. A common practice for ISU is to see how colleagues from other species act and act like others. Therefore, you should not expect that sanctions will be lifted from figure skaters earlier than from swimmers or football players. Let the importance of Kamila Valiva and Alexandra Trusova for the union be invaluable, they do not know how to take unnecessary risks and make strong-willed decisions in the union and are unlikely to learn. This is also the case with the ISU Congress in Fukit. Do not wait for miracles and, most likely, the suspension will remain in force until the end of 2022. But at the same time, the union also does not want to escalate with an important federation for itself. Therefore, the Russian and Belarusian delegations from among the participants of the Congress will not be removed independently. The ISU left this opportunity as an initiative to Western countries, and judging by indirect signs, the idea of discussing the future of figure skating without representatives of the world's best figure skaters did not find many supporters. At least, the president of the Russian Figure Skating Federation, Alexander Gorshkov, says in a conversation with journalists that a trip to the Congress is part of his plans. The fact is that it is technically difficult to remove Russia from the Congress, for this you need to collect a qualified majority, 80%, of all delegates. Lakernik needs to win three votes to confirm his position. Similar rules are established for those proposals that are put on the agenda of the Congress outside the time limit stipulated by the regulations. A similar story was in 2018 around the idea of raising the age limit, the proposal could not be put to the vote due to restrictions. Such unity is a rarity for sports organizations even during the period of general international turbulence. As was strongly requested in the case of skiing, where there will also be a Congress soon, we will not name federations that can help us break up the anti-Russian coalition, but in general, the list of countries loyal to the FFCR may surprise you. In addition to the geopolitically understandable Armenia and Hungary, Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia may also be on the list. It was the Baltic states that put forward for a vote a proposal to remove the age limit for top-level ISU officials. Now people over 65 cannot be nominated, and our Alexander Lakernik is already 67, there are no other such important age persons planning to be nominated for a new term, so this amendment is being made specifically for Lakernik. The delegates of the Congress probably understand this, the process of re-election of Alexander Rafailovich to the post of Vice President of the ISU will not be easy and will take place in three rounds. First, he needs to enlist the support of those who will vote against Russia's removal from Congress. Then those who are ready to say yes to the age amendments that allow him to become an official candidate. And already on the third vote, they will choose between him, Canadian Benoit Lavoie, Japanese Tetsuro Matsumura and Finnish Susanna Rakamo. The Japanese is a dark horse, but Lavoie and Rakamo have serious claims to power in the ISU. However, they have an option to abandon the fight for the deputy chair in favor of the post of president of the entire ISU, the current head of the union, Jan Dekima, is leaving his post. Two variants of the age limit and changes in the cost of cascades. 
Lavoie is a former figure skater, judge and technical controller, but in general his career path resembles a typical sports politician. Since 1996 he has been on the board of Skate Canada, in 2001 he became vice president of the organization, from 2006 to 2013 he headed it. Since 2016, Benoit has already been on the ISU Council, and for the first time the Canadian planned to be nominated for the post of Vice President of the International Union in 2019. Then they did not have time to submit the documents, and Lavoie himself was preparing for the Home World Cup. In 2020, the Congress could not be held due to the pandemic, as in 2021, so it turns out to be in the elections only on the fourth attempt. In his election speech, he talks a lot about the need to return the sport to its artistic qualities, so if he is elected, it is worth waiting for refereeing reforms and restrictions on quadruple jumps. Finker Akamo is going to the elections with similar views. The trump card of the latter is a busy sports career. Susanna Rakamo performed in ice dancing and paired with Petri Kako, became the European champion, so she knows firsthand about big sports. The voting on other issues will depend on who will occupy key positions in the ISU. In particular, according to the age limit in single skating, which is so exciting for Russia. Alas, there is nothing to please here, a simple majority is enough for the adoption of amendments from Norway, and, most likely, it will be achieved. The next season will not be affected by the changes, but from 2023-24 only 16-year-olds will be allowed to participate in adult competitions, and from 2024-25 17-year-old figure skaters. However, there is an option of a sharp transition to the censorship from the age of 17. Among other issues, we note the change in the scale of components, the Olympic selection system, the qualification round at the World Championships and equating sequences to cascades. A total of 249 amendments will be considered, so from June 6 to June 10, all eyes will be directed to Fukit. And